Hello viewers, welcome back. So the year has come to an end and I have prepared for you a Jung Ching Peng Inertia Constant Generator. So this is really interesting. You can see on my right side the image, it's impressive. It's a set of gears, very similar to the, let's say, flywheel system, but you will see later on what's going on there. So I am proud to say that I'm uh, proud uh, that I have managed to create more than 60 generators in the year 2017. So it's an impressive work you can imagine. It's not some video blogging which you can just take a camera and you record yourself and saying bullshit. Uh, here I actually do some physical work of uh, exploring this available patterns. Uh, so I read the patterns, I make a design but based on these patterns and uh, I hope I try to uh, explain you to my limited knowledge in English uh, all the things uh, in this patent uh, which are relevant how these uh, generators actually operate. So not to waste any time here let's get to our final uh, generator for this year. All right, gentlemen, so look at this. Impressive on the first sight, isn't it? Yes, I would really agree with that. Impressive set of gears. And let's see how this inertia constant generator should work. All right. Okay, so it's basically very simple when we understand it. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, so you can see we have the main spindle on where are some big gears mounted, yeah? Uh, six of them and then we have on the bottom we have another set of gear mechanism on another supports yeah? uh, actually five of them five sets and uh, you will see for what they are used yeah? of course they are used for changing of the speed of the rotation of the gears and then in the end we will see how 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 they can bring us uh, the, the greatest speed at the end at the last and uh, give us output on this output generator all right so to understand it from the beginning uh, how is the idea we have to explain uh, why this is possible or in theory should work because for example we have now the, the drive motor here which should be started to start uh, rotating this biggest gear and uh, why is that uh, how can this help us yeah so the uh, the explanation is that when the great circum the greater circumference of the circle is let's say in this case of this uh, biggest uh, gear we need the least effort to rotate it uh, so how to uh, so so why is that so if i now unhide something else unhide you can see that I created another one example to understand it better. So you can see that we have the, let's say, this gear and this gear have the same weight. Yeah? So this is one ton and this is also one ton. Yeah? So one ton. And now let's explain it. We have the same drive motor and we have the same uh, drive gear yeah? on the both of them. And why is now this better this bigger one with the greater circumference better than this smaller one which has the same weight in theory we should need because this is one ton and this is also one ton we should uh, have the same energy to rotate it but it is not so yeah? so because we have here the same the one ton and the small circumference uh, of the of the gear we need the greater kinetic energy to operate it yeah? and therefore what we need in this system is the inertia because it's called inertia constant generator yeah? we need inertia to to then the, the the sum this inertia the in this smaller one inertia will be very small yeah? so therefore the greatest circumference is of the gear which is mounted on the bearing in the middle of course on the bearing in the middle uh, we'll have uh, the greater uh, inertia and the greater kinetic energy yeah so that's why we need a bigger circle uh, uh, to, to get the higher inertia and the smaller power to, to rotate it yeah? so so that's it so I will hide now uh, these things not to be on our way isolate hide objects so this was just for explanation 
why we need exactly this setup with the higher gears, uh, with the bigger gears and the smaller drive gear. Yeah? So because we, we want to retain the inertia and the kinetic energy, which is then transferred by the set of next gears here below. You see, so the, this one will be driven, uh, we will, it, it will be connected to the electric power source. Yeah? It will rotate this biggest gear through this small gear. Yeah? Then you can, you can see that the next gear next year is a little bit bigger so therefore you know uh, it will be a little bit higher speed uh, on this on this um, on this gear than on this which it turned and we have also the, the kinetic energy provided uh, by the inertia yeah? so as you can see now this smaller gear which we have higher speed than this one will be transferred even bigger speed over here because it's a bigger yeah? It's a bigger gear, so therefore this uh, be, uh, this uh, big gear on the main spindle will also rotate a little bit faster than this first one. Yeah? So that's the logic. And now, now to explain everyone, you can see now that this is serious with the same set of gears. We have the smaller, the smaller, the smaller, and the same. Uh, these below are the same configuration. These four sets, you can see them. One, two, three, four, and. Um, we will have the higher speed uh, uh, on there. And the last one you see here is a little bit bigger yeah? and will transfer even bigger speed to the last gear on the main spindle, which is connected, you can see, to this drive uh, pulley, yeah? to this gear on which is drive pulley. So you can see last one is connected this on the main spindle with the drive pulley to transfer this power to the generator yeah? and what's that now when i select this main gear main gear this one this this and this you can see that this will be our set which will uh, give us the output so this drive motor will be connected to the electrical power yeah and then uh, on this uh, generator or alternator we will have the uh, greater power output than the input power which we need to drive this biggest uh, gear yeah? and of course uh, this uh, will be then disconnected yeah? from uh, drive motor will be disconnected from the power source and it will be connected to the output generator which will of course run it and give also some excess power uh, to, to, for other purposes, for loading of batteries or for other things, yeah? But it's a constant uh, load, yeah? Because it's inertia constant generator. So that's it, basically. Now when I select the gears, you can see that through these gears, yeah? So we will, uh, we will, uh, this inertia, which I explained at the beginning, which is higher due to the higher diameter, yeah? Will be summed, yeah? Uh, the, inertia or kinetic energy will be mm, summit and then we have the highest on the, the, la the latest gear yeah? and therefore we have the greater power on the output than the power required on the input for this to operate and that's basically it gentlemen so it's like it's very similar in theory like the the flywheel system yeah but it's here is the the gear mechanism used yeah so in any such system you know that you have the higher output power than the input power you know, when you use the gears but again uh, how to extract you know, it to, to get the really output uh, greater than the input uh, it should be done with such such a similar system you know? So that's basically it, gentlemen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, until next video, stay tuned on my channel.